Today, Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs and Joe Burrow and the Bengals will race into challenge to see who can score a thousand points in a single game first. How this works is both quarterbacks will take turns having an offensive drive. The better drive of the two will give that team a good wheel spin, whereas the worst team on that drive will spin a bad wheel. These wheels will give additions or multipliers to the current scoring methods in football. This cycle of drives and spins will continue until one team has reached the ultimate goal of scoring 1,000 points. Once again, this is another video I stole from YNG. He seems to have it down in the 2K world, so I wanted to see how this would go down in Madden. All right, game number one, the points are still the same at the moment, and we're going to start with Mahomes at midfield. It's already been a minute, and he's taken down. The tiebreaker for getting the better wheel spin is based on how much yards the team goes down the field. So right now, the Chiefs are the 43, so they've gone about 20 yards so far. Let's see if they continue their drive with Mahomes, throws on the run, and Vada Scanling's got it. Also, these are updated rosters as of now, so Juju is no longer on the Chiefs, and Jesse Banks no longer on the Bengals. Okay, third down and 10. It looks like the Chiefs might have to settle with a field goal here here Mahomes runs out of the pocket delivers the Tony he'll be tackled short but they can still get three out of this all right so the Chiefs are going to start their scoring in this video hopefully their first of a thousand they'll start with three from the opponent's 42 Burrow going to chase and oh he's out of bounds Bengals need about 12 more yards if they want to compete with the Chiefs to get the good wheel they're going to pick up eight there a couple plays later we're now at the 19 that's another first down pickup and Burrow will go for more than that that's a pickup of nine. Five yards out. We'll hand it up the middle to mix in. He gets the first down. He fumbles the football. Oh, it's picked up by an offensive lineman. No, they're going to go for it. If they don't get this, the Chiefs get the good wheel spin. That could be pretty big early on, but no, this time. Joe Mixon gets the first down. He didn't fumble it. Good job. All right, Bengals, quit messing around. Let's go ahead and punch in this six. Joe Mixon's got it. And that's six on the board for the Bengals, and we'll start off our spinning with a good wheel. All right, we're starting with the Bengals upgrade. This is going to give them a multiplier or an addition to their current scoring methods. It's going to start with times three to their extra point. That doesn't sound like much, but that's kind of sneaky. For every touchdown they get, they're going to get an extra point. And now we're three, so that means each touchdown is worth nine points, basically. As for the Chiefs, they get the first spin on the bad wheel, which could also give them something good, such as plus four to the receiving touchdown. Hopefully this concept makes sense. This is going to continue until one team hits 1,000. It would be in the best interest for the Chiefs to score a passing touchdown here, but no, Pacheco is going to take it. All right, Mahomes, you know the drill. Come on. 11 points are on your fingertips. That counts as a passing touchdown. Oh, never mind. It wasn't even close. Bring in the house, but it doesn't matter. It's a passing touchdown. The vault is scantling. That's going to add 10 onto the Chiefs. And of course, the extra point will add a single point. So that means the Chiefs will be at 14. Burrow's going to keep it. Look at Chase striding in the middle of the field. That's a touchdown for the Bengals. Add six. Extra point would add an extra three. So if I'm doing the math on the top of my head correctly, seven plus nine should be 16. So the end of drive two, Bengals lead 16 to 14. The Bengals get the good wheel spin again, considering they scored faster and they'll get three times to their field goal. So three times three is nine. That's how much their field goals are worth. The Chiefs are back in the L wheel. Not like it's going to negatively affect them that much. I lied. Good thing they're a pass first offense because they won't be needing rushing touchdowns anymore. Well, it's not the strongest start by the Chiefs. All the Bengals have to do is go three yards down the field farther, but let's see if they can get some points on the board too. Looks like the Bengals will be scoring the good wheel once again for the third time already. Now let's just see if they can put some points on the board. And look at this. Joe Mixon's going to break the plane maybe? No, he can't get past one more tackler, but he'll be at the 14-yard line. God forbid Burrow throws a pick or something. That's the only thing you don't want to do here. He is going to pass, and he's got the touchdown to Jamar Chase, which will put up six Followed by our extra point, which will put up three. And so in total, after Money Mac drills this, our game is going to be at 25 to 14. All right, for the third time already in this video, the Bengals will get the good wheel. And boom, that's a splash. Times four to the receiving touchdown. I would say that's the best thing the wheel could land on. So six times four is 24. Every passing touchdown that Burrow throws will be worth 24 points. Patrick Mahomes, man, you're slack and you got to do something about this. His answer is is he's going to lose five to his extra point. I don't even think you can do that. No, we can't go to the negatives. That's going to be completely unfair. We, we can't let him lose points. We're going to keep it at one. Not looking too good for them so far. And we're into drive four with 11-point Bengal lead. 32 yards out. We're looking for a passing touchdown, Mahomes. That would score you 10. We're going that way. Oh, what a pass and catch, though. That's going to put him at the 15, the Marquez Vadas scantling Six yards out. This is a pass. If he does score a touchdown, Kadarius Tony can't make the plane, but he will get the first down and goal. Interested to see what the Chiefs do here. If they run the football and get it, it's going to hurt. 
Oh, that hurts. Oh, <laughs> no, that's only three points. Well, at least Harrison Butker will make it a little bit better. Brighten your day with the extra point. That is four more points for the Chiefs. So the Bengals will have about four minutes to score a touchdown faster. And not a good start. This is considered a fumble. And that's going to put it into the Bengals' drive. Yeah, so that means the Chiefs get to spin the good wheel. Finally, someone stepped up for the Chiefs to give them their first good wheel spin. And it's going to add back to the rushing touchdown, but that doesn't really help much. The 3 plus 5 is 8. It's one point better, but ugh, it's still not good. And the Bengals' first spin on the so-called bad wheel. What's going to do to them? It's actually going to do more good than bad. And with that spin, the Bengals' field goal is now worth 13 points. Early challenge for the Chiefs in their fifth drive. It's third down and four. They've only gained six yards so far. Kelsey has it. Oh, they're going to give him the first down. That was close. Probably could have brought out a playing card to measure that one. It was really close. But we'll have a crossing route. A good pickup here. First down and more. Pretty solid drive so far for the Chiefs. All they got to do is end in a passing touchdown. That's what Mahomes wants. Look at this. Oh, it was almost deflected back in the hands for a touchdown. Mahomes could have just had the lead, but instead he's got to settle for... Oh, no. Didn't even get the first down. They're going to give it a go. Harrison Butker is currently on the F of the logo. I wonder if that symbolizes anything for the future of this field goal. Surely enough, yes, F. If the Bengals can get a passing touchdown here, it would be lethal. You're talking about 24 points. Can they get it? Oh, no. Nope. They'll be five yards short. Not to mention their extra points were three, and they get a passing touchdown. So plus their extra point would be 27 total points. Just for confirmation that Money Mac does make this. There you have it. Bengals up 52 to 18. The Bengals just cashed in the touchdown for the lifetime. They're also going to cash in plus three to the rushing touchdown. Puts a rushing touchdown at nine. I have no clue what's going on with the Chiefs right now but i blame jackson mahomes oh there you go that's pretty good that's the best thing you can get out of the bad wheel man did they need that eight times three is 24 their rushing touchdowns worth 24 points now that's gonna measure up to the receiving touchdown of the Bengals. on to drive six maybe the chiefs can start getting back into this it's currently a 36 point game right now the chiefs have gone 21 yards so far in this drive look at this opening pacheco and open space first down we're to the 21 now. Chiefs are going to need a touchdown here if they want to stay in this close. Mahomes delivers. That's a first down. Ooh, this is good. He falls at the one yard line. They hand this up the middle. That's 24 points. All right, Mahomes, don't mess us up. Don't be selfish. You got to hand this one off. Good. Perfect. Chiefs are right back into it. That's going to be 24 points. It's going to put him at 42, and the extra point would then put him at 43 in total. And so this would make it 52 to 43. Start the big catch and run already for the Bengals. Big move. We have a late flag thrown. Oh, it's going to be a face mask penalty. Wow, that's going to put the Bengals at the 40 in Chiefs territory already in one play. Bengals have plenty of options to get some more points on the board here. Let's see what they do. And instead, they'll go backwards. Second and 15, Burrow throws another check down. What are we hoping to get out of that? Much needed stop for the defense on the Chiefs side here. Looks like Burrow's just going to throw it up. It's incomplete. That's going to be a punt. No way they can kick a field goal from there. That was a perfect situation for the Chiefs. They get some points. They prevent the Bengals from scoring, and they will spin the good wheel. Only the second time the Chiefs have spun the good wheel. And, ooh, that's close. Ooh, times two the rush touchdown. It could have been times four, but that's still really good. And now you're starting to see some big numbers form. So 24 times two is 48 for the rushing touchdown. If that wheel would have landed a smudge higher, it would have landed on times four rushing touchdown, which means it would have been 96 instead. So that's a huge difference. All right, Bengals back in the bad wheel for the second time. And they will, ooh, that's actually better. The Bengals will match that, so their receiving touchdown will be 48. This is a little concerning. We have an empty backfield formation for the Chiefs, so it looks like Mahomes is going to throw the football here, as he does. And, ooh, he'll be stopped short. This is good. It, everything's going in the favor of the Chiefs. First down and goal, about his scaling once again. I'm just going to start referring to him as MVS. I can't stand saying his full legal government name anymore. Hand this ball off. No, what are you guys doing? Oh, you guys missed out on so many points. And, of course, it's MVS, man. But on the plus side, that actually put the Chiefs in the lead. So they're going to have... 54 points. Well, the Bengals will already be spinning the bad wheel because they couldn't score it in time to be the tiebreaker, but they can still put up some points. So let's see if they do that right here. This is a pass to Jamar Chase. He fumbles the football. Oh, it goes out of bounds. If Burrow gets this in the end zone with his arm and put him over 100 points, let's see if he can do that right here. He's got Jamar Chase. And that's going to add 48 total points. And once we get to this extra point, 
the Bengals will be sitting at 101 point. All right, to make it official, our first team in the triple digits. The Chiefs scored a touchdown faster, which beats the tiebreaker, so they will get the good wheel spin, and this is actually pretty helpful. It's about time we start adding to our extra points. It's not going to do much right now, but it'll probably be really useful later. Bengals have had some really good luck in the bad wheel, so I'm sure they're not complaining. Once again, times three to their extra point. And this is what I mean by the extra points kind of sneaky, because now you look at it, their extra point's worth nine. So now think of every touchdown they're going to score from here on out, they're getting an additional 9 points. Solid start for the Chiefs offense as they're already at the 25 yard line in Bengals territory. A passing touchdown would be nice, but not as nice as a rushing touchdown, so thank god he was out of bounds. Third down and 8, a field goal is not their strongest suit right now, so I don't think they want that. Oh, it's going to be fourth down and one. They might have to settle for it. Oh, they're going for it. It's almost like they know their field goal is only worth three points. It's a handoff backwards. Pacheco's got to fight for it. He didn't get it. What a stop for the Bengals. Wow. All right, so the Bengals are within the 10-yard line. The question in here is now is just how are they going to score? That's the important part. A passing touchdown would be over 50 points. Let's see if they can get it. Burrow has the passing touchdown. That's going to add 57 points. Looks like the Bengals are pulling away with this one early. So that touchdown was 48 points. The extra point now being worth 9. Very helpful. Equals 57 in total. And now their total score is 160. Chiefs 54. And the Bengals get the good wheel spin. Eh, nothing too concerning. Just a 100 point game for the Kansas City Chiefs. And the Bengals will times 2 to their field goal. I don't know if we've seen any field goals yet. But maybe these can come in clutch later. Kansas City Chiefs back on their favorite wheel because it's their favorite color red and just adds to the receiving touchdown. Well, 12 is better than 10. Well, just your average 106 point game here. We'll start with Patrick Mahomes and ooh, okay, going to need this. Got to get some points on the board. Hopefully a rushing touchdown. He steps away from the sack, launches out of bounds, fourth and 10. They're going to punt. And now we have a passing touchdown for the Bengals and they're starting to pour it on. So that's 48 more points. So this extra point is going to put the Bengals at a total of 217 points. All right, this is the 78th time the Bengals spun the good wheel. They're only going to add three to the receiving touchdown, which is going to put it at a total of 51. The Chiefs are going to need something good here, man. They are struggling right now. That is really good, actually. They still got some ground to cover if they want to catch up to the Bengals in terms of their amount of points scored for receiving touchdown, but that's still pretty good. A field goal would do absolutely nothing for you guys, considering it's still only worth three points. You need to get in the end zone here, Mahomes. Please find something. Runs out of the pocket. Oh, he's going to take a huge sack. I don't even know if you can kick a field goal from there at this point. But they're going to try. This is the second time Butker is forced to kick a ball from the 50-yard line. This time, nope, he doesn't have it. Well, it doesn't look like the Bengals are doing much better. If the Chiefs can get a stop here, they get the good wheel. And they will. Oh, good for them. That might be the first time this video that neither team scored on both drives. So now we'll go to the Chiefs. They're going to get times four to their field goal. That will help a little bit. It would have helped if Harrison Butker could make them. And the Cincinnati Bengals will be so-called punished by adding two or times three to their field goal. Oh my goodness, that's so much better. Even when the Bengals are supposed to get punished, they don't. Now their field goal is worth 78 points. That is higher than anything else on the board right now. And we'll continue with our 11th drive. All right, Bengals, third down. We cannot settle for a field goal here. Here's a good run by Pacheco. Nice. We're at the 11. First and 10. Going to throw. Mahomes towards the end zone. Oh, it's dropped by Kelsey. Second and 10. Again, Mahomes will throw. He's got it this time. That is a huge play to Sky Moore. If I've done my math right, after this field goal or extra point is kicked, the Chiefs will now be sitting at 130 total points. The Chiefs third down defense in this video has been absolute dog, so I wouldn't even be surprised if the Bengals convert here. Third and 18. It's a short pass. Not going to do much, but the Bengals are still going to put a field goal up on the board. So after this field goal, the Bengals will now be at 243 points. But since the Chiefs scored a touchdown, they get the good wheel. Looks like Kansas City is making a push for a comeback. Now they're going to add 10 to the receiving touchdown. So in total, they're up to 82 now. As for the Bengals, their so-called punishment will be adding 6 to their field goal. Now it puts it at a 32. Nine yards out, Mahomes is going to pass. This could be huge. Going to be short of the end zone. Sky Moore can't break the plane, but he'll pick up five. Now at the four, Mahomes is handing the football off, and they're going to have a rushing touchdown here. Still good, but not as good. So the extra point will go up, and the Chiefs will now have 182 points. Burrow's going to pass on 38. He's going all the way back to the 50. He has a completion here somehow. Oh, they're going to lose yards, though. Most dreadful thing for the Chiefs defense, a third down in 10. Can they stop it? Burrow on the run. Can they close it in time? Yes. That's going to be a fourth down. And looks like the Bengals have to settle with another field goal. So if Evan McPherson drills this, the Bengals will be at, he does, 
No, he misses it. What? Was it off the crossbar or something? Wow, that is huge for the Chiefs. Bengals will stay at 243 points. The Chiefs have not led once this entire video, but they're making a comeback now, and they're going to add five to their extra point. Not horrible, put it at nine. As for the Bengals, they will be... Ooh, that was pretty bad. Bad territory there. They're going to lose five to their field goal. At this point in the game, it doesn't affect them too much, but it does suck that they did not get another upgrade there. Ooh, look at this pass by Mahomes, and Valdez Scantling going to fall at the two-yard line. If the Chiefs do decide to pass this, they can take the lead. No, they're going to run it. Ooh, Pacheco does break the plane, so he's going to put some points on the board. In total, after this extra point, it's going to be a total of 57 points out of that touchdown and extra point. Uh, which is going to put them at 239. So they're just four points short of the Bengals. An impressive Chiefs comeback in the making right now. Bengals on a third down and short. Oh, Burrow's going to get sacked. Wow, we're going to go to another spin with the Chiefs on the good wheel. And the Bengals come up short again. Chiefs have really turned this around. This is their fourth time in a row on the good wheel. And now they're going to start multiplying their extra point. So that changes their extra point to 9 to 18 in total. Big difference. And as for the Bengals, they will add 6 to the field goal. So that bumps them up to a 33. Nothing too crazy. Let's see if the Chiefs can get the first lead of the day. I don't know why we always pick up with the Chiefs at midfield, but here we are again. Mahomes starts with a good completion here to Kelsey. He's got a first down plus many more. We're at the 31. If they were to get a passing touchdown here, it'd be at exactly 100 points, but they're going to run it up the gut. It's a first down pickup and stop to the 5-yard line is Clyde Edwards-Hilaire. This could work out. All right, from the five, Mahomes elects to run the football, and oh, it's another rushing touchdown. Man, they cannot catch a break. Whatever, they still take the lead here. Whatever, after this extra point, that's 66 points right there. So in total, the Chiefs are now up to 305 points. Burrow delivers, open receiver, Boyd is going to fall at the one-yard line. This actually sucks because if they run it in, they only get nine points compared to a total of 51 if they pass it. Let's just see. Yeah, they're going to run it. Oh, he stopped short. Mm, okay. This is looking like a run formation, no doubt. Let's just see if Burrow's going to hand this off. No, he's going to pass. Does he have it? Yes, he does. That's a big difference right there. You're talking about 51 points to chase right there. And our extra point will add 18 on top of that. So now the Bengals have the lead back again, sitting at 312 points. Even though the Bengals got the lead, the Chiefs still get the good wheel spin. Oh, they're adding on to the extra point times three. This is deadly man so you're now what you're talking about is their extra point is now worth 54 points so every touchdown they score they're adding 54 on top of it maybe the Bengals can luckily match that instead they will only add two of the rushing touchdown not looking too hot for them so that bumps it up to 11 and this is what we're looking like going to drive 15. once again they're gonna kick a field goal but this means absolutely nothing even if harrison bucker makes this it'd be the first one he makes today he didn't he missed it anyways dude what's going on with the field goals today all right, so we've reached that predicament again where it's going to determine the scoring based on if this team wants to score rushing or receiving touchdown. And it looks like Burrow wants to pass it or run backwards and fumble the football. Yeah. Okay, thankfully it was picked up by an offensive lineman, but now it's second down and goal at 26 yard line. Third down and goal. I wonder if they can actually get 28 yards here. The answer to your question is no. But they will take a field goal worth 33 points. And given that Money Mac drills this, which hopefully he does, and he will. We'll put them up to 345 in total, 40 points above the Chiefs. And they get the good wheel. So the Bengals are back to their winning ways on back to the good wheel. Ooh, that's pretty big. That's going to help their rushing touchdown out. So 11 times 3 is 33. As for the Chiefs, they will get to add or multiply 2 to the receiving touchdown. Which is just crazy because it's already at 82. So you times that by 2, you're now at 164 for a receiving touchdown plus the extra point. Which means in total... A touchdown, an extra point, would be worth 218 points if I did that correctly. Even though we're only at 300 points apiece, just wait. It's going to start ramping up and this could be over quickly. I believe Kansas City is yet to have a lead this entire video. Could they change that with this drive? Mahomes gets it off a little wobbly and out of bounds. The pressure was felt in the pocket. It's going to force a punt. Just like that, Cincinnati's back in the good wheel and they want more than that. 35 yards out, there's 15 of them right there. Burrow's in his X-Factor. He's going to deliver another slant. That's all he's been doing this whole drive. Burrow from the 5. Going to fake the handoff. Play action at the 5. Looking for a touchdown pass. No, he's going to run for it. That's considered a rushing touchdown. So that's 33 points to the Bengals. 
In total, after McPherson makes this extra point, it's going to be up to 396 for the Bengals, and they're on the good wheel. Cincinnati will be getting 10 to their field goal. Puts them up to a 43. I don't even know if they made a field goal this whole game. And Kansas City will be, ooh, multiplying their rushing touchdown by two. That's going to put it at 96. The Chiefs have some pretty solid scoring methods. Other than their field goal, somehow it's yet to been touched. All the Chiefs got to do is score a touchdown of any sort, and they have the lead for the first time today. And we will start with about a six-yard pickup. Second and three, 23 yards. Mahomes going to go for it all here. Here's a big pickup. We're at the five. A touchdown, an extra point right now by a passing touchdown would be equivalent to 218 points, which is like 75% worth of what they have right now. But instead, they're going to run the football. They don't get it, though. Okay, that was the last thing that the Chiefs need to happen because a field goal is going to do absolutely nothing for them. You are about to witness the most worthless field goal of your life. These three points mean absolutely nothing. Mixon has an opening and he's in for the end zone. I gotta check how much points that's worth. I can't be keeping up with these big numbers. I believe that's 33. And after this extra point, the Bengals will be at 447 points and on the good wheel. Bengals are approaching the halfway point and they're going to multiply their field goal by two, which is good, but they haven't even used it yet. So that's going to bump it up to an 86. The Chiefs are getting the luckier spins, but they need to perform better. What is this? This could end the game if they could get one. That's a receiving touchdown, of course. So now we're looking at 164 times three. Alexa, what is 164 times three? 100. 64 times 3 is 490. That is just ridiculous. All it takes at this point in the video is Patrick Mahomes to throw two passing touchdowns and they win the game. Third down, run up the middle, and. Oh, please tell me he got it. Oh, fourth and inches. They can't kick a field goal, man. Tell me you guys are going for this. Oh, let's go. Thank the Lord. Andy Reid knows what's up. He knows three points is completely worth this in this situation. We need 500. It's a run. It's a first down. Pacheco's to the 20. What does Mahomes do here? He's going to pass it. He's got a pass touchdown plus 500 give me a second i gotta do some math all right without the extra point the chiefs dead at 800 after butker makes this that's gonna make it 854 points for the chiefs just like that this game has changed and it's the first kansas city lead of the day you know weirdly enough the best scoring option for the Bengals is to get a field goal so maybe they get about five yards here and they'll take a kick let's see what happens burrow stands at the 50 don't want to take a sack that was probably the most useless pass I've ever seen. Yeah, they're playing the football. Chiefs are on the good wheel. The Chiefs haven't done much on the good wheel, so maybe this is a good thing for the Bengals. Or maybe not. So with this land on for the Chiefs, this basically solidifies that if the Chiefs score a touchdown of any matter, they win the game. Bengals need some saving grace off the L wheel. And, uh, okay, maybe that helps. The Bengals are counting their days. This could be the final drive as we approach drive 19. Final chance for the Bengals in today's video, more than likely. It's a handoff. Oh, he stopped short. Jared McKinnon couldn't break the plane. Now do the Chiefs go for this? That's the question. No, they will not. They will take the three points here, meaning the Bengals will live to another drive. Take a sack, loses the football. It's a fumble. I'm sure they're going to score a scoop and score a touchdown here. I actually did not make a rule for that. Um, well, you know, this video is not scripted when we make up rules as we go. I'm not going to consider that a score, but we'll get the Chiefs the good wheel spin here. So Kansas City's on the good wheel. Not like it matters anyways. Oh my goodness. We're just, we're just pouring salt on the wound at this point. So if we take the receiving touchdown, multiply it by three. 492 times three is 1,476. That kills the threshold it takes to win the game. The Chiefs have had some insane luck these last few spins, but as for the Bengals, that's going to do nothing. That puts the rushing touchdown up to 39 and that's only 1,430 something smaller than the receiving touchdown. Oh wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. The Chiefs are going for this. This is the win the game. This is the mentality we need right here. Mahomes, gonna hand it off. Not even close. Are you kidding me? Are they gonna show this again, dude? I, I mean, seriously, I've been watching this game simulate itself for like five years now, and I have never seen a one-end catch like that. That was kind of wild. Back in the end zone... Oh my goodness, a touchdown. Dude, two impressive catches back to back. If I'm doing it right on top of my head, that should be 105 more points to the Bengals, which will put them at a total of 552. Are they out yet? I don't know. Are the Bengals making a comeback? Ah, I don't know, but let's just see what they do here. Oh my goodness, times four to the extra point. That's going to put it at 216. They have a shot. If they have one more defensive stop, man, they can get right in this game again. Kansas City hasn't really been punished on this wheel, and... I can't keep doing this, man. I, I can't keep doing this. What is 1,476 times three? Well, you know the drill. If the Chiefs score a touchdown, it's over. Let's see if the Bengals can still hold on. From the eight, can they do it? Yes, it's over. 
And they did it on a passing touchdown too. That's just cruel. I mean, I don't even want to count this. Well, not only did they pass the 1,000 point threshold, they also reached 5,285 points. And I don't even think that'll fit up on the tiny little scoreboard up there. Well, as the Kansas City Chiefs strike 1,000 first. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like this idea. If you do like it, I can expand on it. I can do more teams, different games. Again, I saw YNG made this concept first a while back on 2K. So props to him, of course, again. And yeah, I appreciate you guys coming back every two weeks when I decide to upload a video. I promise, man. Man, my schedule will get better soon. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.